Te tuahine e Jay Naua no i ara takina i tō tātou huihuinga mai te timatanga te nei rā e mihi koua tū ki a koe. Nei rā tō whānau o te matapihi, ko tū hono ake i te rā nei i raro i te reo karanga o te rā. Nō reira e hoa, te nā koe o te rā, te nā hoki o pā whakapapa ki a tātou o te tai toke rau. Kia tātou anō hoki, ko rarau mai nei i te rā nei. I was asked by a speaker who's meant to get up later on today on advice around speaking publicly. And I said to him, it sometimes helps to let your audience know that you're nervous, they can be more forgiving. I'm sorry I took the line to that speaker uh, who's going to be speaking to us later on this afternoon, but kia ora rā tato. As mentioned, my name is Tyrone Raumati, and it's my great privilege to stand here on behalf of Te Matapihi, He Tirohanga Moti, we trust the national peak body for Māori housing. First of all, can I acknowledge mana whenua, Ngai tua huriri, ngāti mamoe, kai tahu iwi, kai tahu tangata. Tēnei rā te whakahoki i ngā mihi, i rere kau mai, i rere kau atu i te atane. Nā koutau i whakatoto i tēnei taonga o te aroha, hei whakatūwhera i tēnei kaupapa, e hoama e o kurangatira tēnā koutau. And so in brief translation, I pay special tribute to those of this land who hold the sacred obligation of protector to their domain. As those of us who converge on this space take heed of the blessing afforded to us by them, and may I express on behalf of the conference our deep gratitude to the people of Ngai Tahu, Ngai Tu Ahuriri, Ngāti Māmoe. To the host, friends at Ngā Farerau o Aotearoa, Community Housing Aotearoa, can I just say, Paul, it's not often we hear ourselves being referred to as a sister, especially in the housing context. Although I may have been called this on the streets of Auckland in a more vibrant and younger day, <laughs> what you reminded me of this morning was my own deep relationship with my own sister who passed away nearly five years ago. And whenever I'm asked to do anything significant, I wear this taonga, which was passed to her by my father. You see, while my sister was younger than me, she was always the one that would just get shit done, often telling me what to do. You see, this reflects a whanaungatanga concept of whakapapa that is embedded in our reality. When we go to harvest rongoa Māori, this expression of relationship to our environment tells us you stay with the senior line. If you can stay away from the junior line, they're likely to be trouble. That's actually a deep concept and Māori idea. 
but sometimes the junior line will be your salvation as the older ones may not. But if that's the role a sister organization plays is gets to tell you what to do, then sign me up for two. <laughs> In seriousness though, thank you for the invitation to not only be here, but to participate in what we think will be a full-on next few days. And over that time, we hope in some way, shape or form, we may be able to contribute to some thought-provoking discussion, hear from some inspirational presenters, and share some key learnings and insights as we all navigate making the shift from crisis to transformational change. Today, I've been asked to speak, well, actually, I'm just a ring-in. Wayne Knox, our general manager, um, unfortunately is una unable to be here with us and sends his um, deepest apologies. But around 5 p.m. yesterday, I get a phone call from Paul saying, brother, you're up. And so I was asked to speak on Maori aspirations and actions frantically till the wee hours of this morning, I'm trying to write this quarter or to deliver this afternoon. So Paul, I hope it makes sense, and I hope, hope at least some part of it resonates with you all. In Māori oratory, you have to be a good storyteller. Most orators have the ornate ability to tell the story as if every person played a role. And like every good story, this one starts with once upon a time. We recently held the seventh biannual National Māori Housing Conference in Rotorua. Koto no Ngāti Whakaue, Te Arawa, Te Nirae Mihikaua Tukia Koto. Which funnily enough is where 13 years ago, 2010 to be exact, there was a call to action. The call to action was to create an independent platform to advocate for Māori housing at a national level. This saw the birth of Te Matapihi, and it's that call to action that we continue to serve. Since that time, there have been a number of actions made that to me signalled a sea of change. There was an action to establish an Associate Minister of Housing, Māori. This was first held by Nanaya Mahuta, then Penny Henare, and now Willie Jackson. Another action was that a Māori housing unit would be set up within the then new Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Soon after, Kararaina Kaukot Crib was appointed as a tūmwaki of that unit, Te Kahui Kaingaura. Nanaya and Kara, in con consultation with iwi and Māori housing sector, then set about devising what in my opinion is one of the best acronyms you'll ever come across. Maihi, Māori and Iwi Housing Innovation. And in 2020, in the midst of the first national COVID lockdown, the Maihi Framework for Action was launched. Maihi came out swinging, and this is quote directly from Wayne, Maihi came out swinging. In the cabinet paper it said, the negative impact of colonization land disposition, disposition and housing system failures on Māori are clear. Māori have not been central to previous government's responses to addressing the growing housing crisis. Evidence shows extensive disparity between Māori and Pākehā along the housing continuum over decades. Maihi gave us hope, not just because it acknowledged past and present injustices, but because it held whānau at its centre and because of its punchy prerogatives, respond, review, and reset, responding to immediate needs, focusing on reducing homelessness, reviewing current Crown policies and programs to identify and remove barriers, fundamentally resetting systems and processes so that housing system provides equitable solutions for Māori. The framework also introduced the Maihi Whare Wananga, a forum for Crown and Māori housing sector representatives to come together. And the first Maihi Wananga was held in Pōneke 
in December 2020. Ten key resolutions came out of that wananga, and there was a strong emphasis on the need to increase government investment in Māori housing. The call to action was Crown, give us the resources and get out of the way. This is a message we hear often. This again is not a message unique to housing. We have started to see this in a significant way through the Fai Kainga Fai Oranga program, which has dedicated significant investment to Māori housing initiatives and has allowed for flexibility given the unique needs and situations in different rohe. It is unlikely that government will get out of the way completely as they'll always have checks and balances in place when making significant investment, especially, especially in something as relatively high risk as housing. Getting out of the way doesn't mean being passive. It requires government to actively remove the barriers within the system in a way that is informed by their responsibilities under Te Tiriti o Waitangi. Getting out of the way in this sense is actually a way of government being a good treaty partner. And yes, we do have the solutions. As was stated at the recent National Māori Housing Conference, we are the solutions. No one can deliver Māori solutions except Māori. But investment in Māori solutions build, builds long-term sustainable resilience in our whānau and communities. I'm not diminishing the role mainstream providers play. We know the work you do is important. And what we have in common is the desire to ensure people are well housed. Knowing that effective system change is necessary to achieve this. Our efforts are underpinned in the knowledge that it's a fundamental human right to have a decent place to live informed by te tiriti. Our point of difference, however, is the legacy of colonisation, especially alienation of land and policies that do not accommodate our position as tangata whenua. What we consider as a decent place to live, cultural adequacy, connection to whenua and whānau, are often met with a barrage of challenges and barriers. Māori are typically starting out from a small, non-existent or encumbered asset base making it difficult to get anywhere or even raise capital. What we can do together is let Māori lead when it comes to Māori. And I just want to share an example. A few years back, the um, Homelessness Action Plan was released. And part of that was making sure that there was a support system in place from the peak body, which saw Cha and Te Matapihi come together as the homelessness sector service, support services. And from time to time, uh, from a tangata whenua perspective, our worldview differs from that of our counterparts. And it's sometimes the journey rather than the destination that helps us work our way through it. And I acknowledge our partners at CHA for trusting the relationship with Tangata Whenua enough to allow us the space, time and appreciation. Because sometimes it's really, really hard and really difficult to be in such a system that is foreign to us to begin with and fight and push shit uphill with a rake. In closing, there's still a long way to go. Without significant ongoing investment in Māori-led housing solutions, we will not see the curve turn. We will not see the promise of recent efforts realised. Such investment will take cross-party support in the realisation that housing outcomes support health, education, employment, cultural wellbeing and other outcomes for Māori there are still some fundamental barriers that need to be removed. With the financing and regulatory barriers to building on whenua Māori being the most obvious, 
why 2750 represents a major milestone too. And no doubt its recommendations propose some significant systemic resets, especially if you read it last Friday. While we have improved somewhat, if we hold this course, what we will see is a flourishing of capacity and capability within iwi and Māori housing providers. They will soon have a sufficient base to be more self-sustaining and less reliant on government investment, which is good for everyone. Hoi no e tātou ma. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora tātou. Yeah.